Yeah, this is the ultimate bed rack. Um, stemming off of our Ultimate MX Hauler uh, line of products, um, I wanted to design and build a, a bed rack for my rooftop tent that was universal. Okay. Uh, and uh, basically uh, modular and adapt to any vehicle. So uh, this is pretty much what we came up with, um, you know, after a few months of uh, design and planning and one prototype. Um, we think we have a, a, a pretty modular universal product. And they are universal because they also have two mounting points, correct? They actually have three mounting three points mounting points. in I did each not know corner. That. Okay. Um, so Can you show me um, a little bit of them? Yeah. Um, on regular bed racks, um, actually, uh, for the Tacomas, the Nissans, uh, the Tundras, uh, even the Gladiators uh, okay. that have an E-Rail system. Okay. Um, that's actually the best way to mount because there's I no don't drilling. Have an e right. That's there's popular. no there's no drilling or cutting or anything. Okay. Um, we have pinch plates that slide right into the E-Rail, yes. um, and uh, two bolts in each corner um, hold everything down. Uh, for standard bed rails, um, we have uh, pre-cut holes uh, in the top. And then we also have uh, an additional uh, mounting point uh, on the inside. Okay. Um, so we use what are called what we call pinch plates. Okay. Um, they're already drilled and tapped, and they're just plates that already line up with those holes. Um, so you do have to drill holes in your bed rail. Okay. Um, four on the top, two on the side. Got it. But those pinch plates create a, a, a very strong 90 degree Got uh, it. anchoring point. So that way, there's no kind of. There's Pivot no, there's no pivoting way. or anything. Okay. Um, once um, the whole rack is bolted together, everything it creates a box and everything is squared up. So everything's um, meeting against each other. So right. it's not going to force one of the right. other. Awesome. Yeah. You don't even you, you don't even need um, uh, uh, what do they call it bed supports. Oh, the bed stabilizers. Uh, yeah, there the you bed go. Stabilizers. Okay. The bed stiffeners, guys. Yeah. You don't need them for this rack. Yeah, because uh, like I said, once everything's boxed in. It, create, it basically stiffens the bed. Pretty teed away. Yeah. Awesome. Away. So, um, well, yeah. Well, thank you guys. If you guys want to go check out his rack, it is ultimatebedracks.com. Again, I'm here with Alex from Ultimate Bed Racks. We will be showing and talking to him on our podcast. So please stay tuned. Good morning, everyone. Super excited today because we had quite a week, first of all. Uh, by the way, welcome to episode seven of uh, our podcast uh, got it right you know uh, i'm on my a game today i don't know about that one. so um <laughs> sergio danny christian and up, our guys? awesome guest alex so Woo! before I, yeah yay like yeah. Yeah. before i um ask you to introduce yourself alex i do want to say that alex and i go b way back it's funny because we met uh Three years ago, maybe three, uh, about four. three, three, yeah. four years ago, right, Alex? Yeah. And uh, nothing related to what we're doing now, right? Yeah. It was just kind of like you came in to pitch something, and we just kind of became friends after that, pretty much. Yeah. And now pretty it's much. awesome because we're kind of taking the same road, you know. And uh, yeah, look at where we're at now. Yeah. So <clears throat> you never know where things are going to go when you meet someone. Uh, so with that being said, Alex, would you do me a favor and introduce yourself? Uh, my name is Alex. I'm the marketing and sales director for Ultimate MX Hauler and Ultimate Bed Racks. I'll push the mic a little closer, buddy. I cannot hear you. Remember, that's Alex, we said... That's a little better. <laughs> close little to the better, tip, buddy. Alex. Close to the tip. Close, closer to the tip. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Alex. <laughs> just like, just You're a quick so learner, man. buddy. <laughs> I want you to... Oh, this, pod to this podcast is going to be lots this of fun. I could already tell. Oh, <laughs> oh, boy. oh, boy. So, yeah. So, uh, Ultimate Bed Racks. We are so excited for that product. When you first uh, showed us the initial uh, prototype that you did... I mean, it blew us away because not only was it usable, but the strength of it was just, we were in awe of it. And it, it looks great, by the way. So Thank it's, you. you have it on, on your truck right now and it just, it looks beautiful. And not to mention the fact that you've been able to adapt uh, because you do have the capacity and the ability to do this. You've been able to adapt a lot of things so that you can mount whatever you want on it mm -hmm. pretty much. So can yeah. you kind of... Bicycle break down, yeah, break everything. that down a little bit for us so that everyone out there knows what 
truly how capable this bed rack is. Yeah. So, well, um, in uh, last year, I bought a Toyota Tacoma and uh, wanted to turn it into an overland vehicle. And I bought a uh, rooftop tent mm-hmm. and uh, sat at my shop for three months while I looked for the perfect bed rack, put it on, and I just couldn't find it. Right. Um, I ended up spending a couple of hundred dollars on a couple of load bars and throwing the bed rack up there. And then I sat down with one of my engineers and I said, look, I, I, I need something with all the features that I want. You know, I want to mount all kinds of stuff to my truck. You know, maybe not all at the same time, but, you know, mm-hmm. I wanted to be able to do that. So um, we sat down and, you know, um, we're at a sheet metal fab shop. So we have access to fiber lasers and CNC press brakes. Yeah, that shop stuff. is phenomenal. <laughs> so, <laughs> I've been in it. All, yeah. the, all the fun toys. Wow. Yep. Yeah, all the, to say the stuff. least. Woo. Yeah, so uh, we set out to uh, uh, build a, a, a very strong modular universal bed rack um, that could go on any truck. Mm-hmm. And, um, I think we came up with a, a, a pretty good solution, and uh, so I've had mine on my truck since November, and uh, you know we did quite a bit of R and D and uh, some stuff. Um, pretty confident that if i ever roll my truck that bed rack's probably the only thing that's going to survive <laughs> that's that's that says a lot let that's, me tell yeah, you that says awesome. a lot yeah, that's good yeah. that's good and, and, we, and we love the fact that uh you mentioned that and um i know i know you also did a video i caught a glimpse of a video that you did where you jumped it was fully loaded mm-hmm. okay the bed rack is fully loaded it's no joke packed to the yeah. it's packed to the gills <laughs> yep. and you jumped your truck yeah and then we'll yep. talk about the suspension on it a little later, but right now I want to focus on the bed rack because I am super excited about it. And one of the reasons why I'm excited about it is because my son, as everyone knows, has a, a Ford F-150 and that bed rack will also fit yes. on the F-150. They are so universal. It's that's universal. And so that's crazy. About. Yeah, like, that, that, that's what I wanted to ask you too. So like that bed rack that's on the Tacoma right now, you can literally unbolt it and just make a couple of quick adjustments and then it can fit. Yeah. Instead of having literally... One comp like one yeah. bed rack company that has thirty different models. You can just focus right. on one that's universal. That, like that's said, a, that's amazing. That's, that's the amazing. first yeah. thing I did was look online. And you look at all these bed racks. And you're like, well, I don't like the style of that one. I don't like the way that one stands. I don't like that one. Doesn't even fit my truck. So it's like, where do you go from yeah. there? Mm. Well, it was really funny because in my search, um, I found a lot of bed racks out there that had unique, mm-hmm. cool features, and I was like, oh, I like that, but I also want to put this on it. And mm-hmm. I, after looking and, and researching, there was no way to, you know, put that on it yeah, without drilling holes and, you know, doing stuff. And, um, you know, I've seen so many stuff out there that, you know, yeah, you could mount rotopacks on the side, but you had to drill two holes, <laughs> you know. It's like, and then once you drill the holes, what, you they're know, not going they're anywhere. Not going yeah. Anywhere. Yeah. My thing is, is why isn't the pattern already there? you know, and universal. So, Mm -hmm. um, that's kind of what we went with on our side panels. Um, but we kind of went a step further I incorporated the, the pattern into the posts. Mm -hmm. So if you wanted to mount your, uh, rotopax mount halfway on the post and halfway on the, um, uh, panel, you could Mm -hmm. essentially I have a short bed. So my rack is three foot, seven inches long total. Wow. But I can get two double roto packs on one side with the way that that pattern is set up. That's awesome. Yeah. That's Sorry. awesome. Yep. You need them roto packs when you're out on a long trip, man. <laughs> Let me tell you, yeah. speaking of, you just did one. You huh. just you just did a, a pretty good trip up to Utah? Yeah. Salt Lake? Yeah. So uh, you went up for a show, correct? Yeah, I went up for uh, the uh, Salt Lake Off-Road Expo. Yeah. Um, it's their uh, fifth one. Uh, up there how was it and uh it was cool it yeah it was good yeah there was uh something like sixty thousand people oh wow wow for a nice. two-day period nice That's yeah crazy. so i mean i had no voice i'm probably crackly right now <laughs> really so you had I'm you had recovering. you had a good um good you, good feedback a lot of oh, foot, yeah. lot of foot traffic yeah, where, yeah. Where you a lot of awesome. foot traffic uh actually um Sold a couple of racks and nice. quite a few oh, wow. uh, Ultimate MX haulers. Nice. Yeah. Um, while I was up there, very cool. And so 
you know, the exposure was great. The exposure, exactly. You know, yeah, the, the, it's the, important. The market, you know, is a little bit different up there, you know, than it is here. But okay, um, you know, just a lot of great feedback. I mean, I had guys that were over looking at three thousand dollar bed racks. Wow, wow. <laughs> you know, they come over and look at look look at mine, and they're like. Way more modular, way more universal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you cheaper. <laughs> yeah. Wow, well, I mean, yeah. just the yeah, price way is more affordable. The, yeah. Way more reasonable. The price is 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 excellent yeah. for the product that you're getting. It's like, yeah. you know, better than a three thousand dollar rack. Yeah. I mean, honestly, that's just that's well, that's well, you know. And the funny thing was, is that three thousand dollar rack was specifically for a gladiator. Uh, you know, this mm. particular guy had a raptor. Wasn't he universal. Was like, I'm looking for a rack for my raptor. Yeah. Yep. You know? I yep. mean, it was a really cool looking rack. Yeah. You know, very yeah. intricately designed. Right. But just not useful for, you know, a huh. Tacoma or a mm. Raptor. That's why I love the whole else. universal thing. Because, I mean, just think about other companies that are putting <laughs> hours upon hours in R&D on other vehicles. And it's always like looking for this vehicle, looking for that, looking for this, looking for that. And then, you know, you're always going off of somebody else's time. And it's just, you know, it can be a pain sometimes, Mm -hmm. you know. The only thing that rack, that rack would fit on anything and everything as far as what my knowledge. The only thing it wouldn't fit on is your soccer mom truck. Yeah, absolutely not. Which, which is, I mean, that's okay though. I mean, I'm sure in the future he can come up with something that fits your little soccer mom truck. For starters, buddy, it's a toy. Is it a Ridgeline? It's a toy. Oh, wow. (laughs) Did he just say (laughs) on a Ridgeline? (laughs) I mean, there you go. You know what? That one hurt. That one here, that hurt. He was excited yesterday because he got, someone was super excited to see his truck. We went to go eat uh, (laughs) and we were at the mall. And this and this this guy's girlfriend was so excited, like, oh my god, the truck I've always wanted. (laughs) And and, 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 yeah, it was pretty you were happy, right? That she totally dug it. I mean, come on. From across the parking lot. Dude, I'm give me a year. Just give me a year. It will not look like that, okay? Alex Alex is not, like I know we both ridge line. It's a four. Alex is like, I know we both own Yodas, but don't come near me with that thing. Because <laughs> well, his, well, that's his kind of a Yoda bummer. is like way better than yours. Like, that's, but it's okay. I mean, that's a bummer that it's not a ridge line because I'm actually looking at um, bed- modifying the rack for a ridge line. Oh, really? Ooh, see, geez, see, you could have had a ridge line rack. What's the matter with you? <laughs> I mean, it, it's I, it's it's just a matter of have you guys of seen shorter, like shorter an post old, up towards the front? Have and, you guys seen that yeah, overlanding ridge line? Have you seen one of them? No, I have. I've seen the the have new you? Avalanche, the Chevy Avalanche. They call them overlanches. Really? No you way. Just made, you just yeah. made that up. No, no. I've seen it on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Some guy bought one, too. like a, the, um, what is it, the Z71 new <laughs> Av- Chevy yeah. Avalanche, something like that, and he called it an Overlanch. Overlanch. Yeah. Okay. It's pretty catchy. It's pretty catchy. So, yeah. Alex, um, I know you've also gone out a few times with our Yodas, Seneca Yodas. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. And you've done some just local runs. You guys haven't gone camping or overlanding or anything um, like that, right? I haven't done anything overnight yet. Okay. Uh, with Syndicate Yodas. But yeah. A couple of day trips. A couple of day trips, yeah. 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 Cool, cool. Yeah. So, yeah, that. Really cool guys. Yeah, we, we ran. Group. I remember yeah. uh, you ran Alder Creek with us, right? Uh, Alder Creek. Yeah, yeah. I, I was like. And we did. It was like two Clay Corn. Was was Clay Corn. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Clay Corn with you guys, too. Yeah. Um, so. <laughs> Great group of guys. Yeah, they're really, fun. really cool people. Yeah. There's a so, lot yeah. of trucks that show up, too. Yeah. A yeah. lot of trucks that oh, show yeah. up. I know for the Cleghorn one, we had 27? I, I thought it was 27 30, or 30. 30. Or 30. 30 yeah, 30 total yeah. rigs. Yeah, total rigs. It was crazy. Like it was a madhouse. Seeing 32 rigs getting yeah. off the freeway was so crazy. So, about halfway through the trail, I think a couple more caught up to us. <laughs> yeah. We oh, ended yeah. up breaking up, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, for uh, UBR, <laughs> Ultimate Bed Rack. So, um... You basically just launched in November, or that's when your prototype was? I, I have to <clears throat> remember, touch the tip, bro. 
There you go. <laughs> Here, just scoot your chair forward, buddy. That's all. Just scoot your chair I like forward. the facial expression, too. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> Jesus. Or, or, or bring the tip closer to you. There, yeah. Okay. There you go. Nice. nice. Right. So for UBR, so uh, I'm assuming it, it kind of just started right back in November, or is that when you had your first prototype? Um, actually, the first prototype was in October. Um, okay. The one that's on my truck right now is actually the first production model um, that we did in November. Um, and then in January, my partners were like, let's make 30 more. Nice. <laughs> See nice. if we can sell them. Nice. Um, so those just came back from powder coat, um, about four weeks ago, actually gotcha. two weeks before I and, went. And that, that's kind of like the direction I was going to ask. So like, what's the plan of attack when, in, in terms of like growth for UBR for this year? Um, well, with this show and everything, it's kind of stalled, you know, some of our, um, social media stuff. We got the website up and all that. We just basically incorporated it with ultimate MX hauler. Um, so ultimate bed racks, ultimate MX hauler, ultimate MC ramp hauler. (laughs) It's kind of all under the ultimate, uh, umbrella uh, right now. So, um, you know, social media has been good to us. Um, the four that I've sold, um, pretty much, um, have come from, um, you know, well, three of them from social media. Social media. And uh, one of them was actually a friend who's been waiting since October <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> to get his. Yep. That's good. Um, yeah. And you just, just I mean, it's great because you just literally, like, started exposing it to the public. Like, you know, yeah. you've been doing a lot of just perfecting it lately. And now you just literally started to not pitch it for sales. So now that you know it's yeah. dialed in. Yeah. So you're pretty, pretty much pretty, last- pretty good. Pretty much in the last three to four weeks. That's awesome. You know? So you're going to be doing, sorry, oh, you're going to be doing a lot of traveling, a lot of um, shows, or what, what's, the, what's it, it, is I've that got, kind of yeah, the plan? Um, I've got, I've, I've added, uh, in the past, I've always done uh, motorcycle shows for Ultimate MX Hauler, and uh, now with the bed racks, mm-hmm. you know, they kind of go hand in hand, yeah. so we'll probably be doing some more off-road expos and overland yeah. uh, shows. I was going to uh, say that because most people look for a bed rack, and the only company right now that does a bed rack f- to fit a dirt bike is the Latinier ones, correct? Because um, they have I, the slidable, adjustable ones. Yeah. But you have the you don't need that. Yeah. and yeah. you have yeah. the bed racks. So you're like, yeah. well, hey, yeah, I got the best of both. Make maxi- well, yeah, maximize your space. Exactly. Yeah. Well, it was funny because um, when I first put my rooftop tent on my truck, um, the truck build – was number one i wanted to build an overland vehicle yeah um number two um i wanted it to be ultimate mx haulers you know brand uh, show vehicle Mm -hmm. you know brand vehicle and um so i put the rooftop 10 on it and uh, i went to uh the uh, off-road night show in um san diego and um i actually had two rooftop tent uh manufacturers come up and they were looking at the ultimate mx hauler and they basically said, you have the ultimate solution to the problem <laughs> that we've created. Nice. You know, you put this stuff on the back of your truck, you build an overland vehicle, you yep. can't get a bike in the back of your truck mm-hmm. anymore. It's beautiful. You know, and, you know, the off-road thing and motorcycles kind of go hand in hand. You Absolutely. Know? I mean, yes. Absolutely. I, I do both, you know. Um, so... You know, it doesn't get better than that. You're mm-hmm. overlanding. You pull up to your spot. You set up your little camp. You offload your bike, which, by the way, right now we can touch on your ultimate MX hauler mm-hmm. um, bike carrier. But you offload and you're off, and that's awesome. And you're yeah. riding, and then you come back. You do some cooking. You do some hanging out, and yep. jump on your bike again. I mean, and this is all out of one comf- comfortably, by the way, out of your Toyota pickup mm-hmm. truck. Yeah. That's just yeah. crazy. Yeah. Like, that's great. And, 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 you know, you're not pulling a trailer. Exactly. Oh, not limited well, hey, to the hey, two right lanes. Don't bash the trailers, No, I'm saying, you know, for a motorcycle. I'm just kidding. You know. <laughs> 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 the, the overland trailer, you know, it's a, it, it's a different scene, you know. But, you know, here in California, right. we have a lot more restrictions. Than oh, yeah, states, absolutely. You know, oh, yeah. I was just in Utah and, you know, there's... No special license, no nothing. Guys, you know, driving down the freeway 80 miles yeah. an hour, um, pulling a fifth wheel, you know, with their UTV so on a trailer behind Oh, my that. God. That is sketchy. <laughs> you yeah. Know? Sketchy. 
Yeah, that's FedEx. True. That's true. You know, yeah. FedEx pulling triples down the highway mm-hmm. at seventy five miles an hour. <laughs> you know, Jesus. But so let's touch a little. I think yeah. Now ultimate a good time. MX yeah. hauler. Let's yeah, because I mean that's originally how we did some work for you. Mm-hmm. You know, we yeah. did work for you. Yeah, um, that's uh, th- that was um, again. You know, actually a year or so after mm-hmm. we met. Yeah. Um, I needed a, uh, a display built, mm-hmm. uh, 10 by 10, easy up and stuff like that. Decals, so, easy decals, up. Yeah, yep. all that um, good stuff. We did some rebranding on the vehicle. Um, a few years ago with Ultimate MX Hauler. Um, and uh, it's basically hitch-mounted motorcycle carriers. Yeah. yeah. Um, I tell people now, you know, when they ask me what I do for a living, I'm like, I build racks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? Literally. Are they like, are you a plastic <laughs> surgeon? <laughs> <laughs> Not those kind of Not racks, those. but, you know, <laughs> I have been told I have a nice rack. <laughs> really? <laughs> we might have to go off on camera my, for a hey. <laughs> Oh, man. Um, so, so, yeah, but but the thing the thing about that, that uh, Ultimate MX hauler is that, it number one, it's super heavy duty. Like it, that thing is built right. And number two is the easiness of it when you put your bike on it and take your bike off is what's great about it. Yeah, anyone so, can do it. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. my wife, anyone could do it, and yeah. that's what makes it so great. And the price point is on point. Like it doesn't get better than and that. It, it's, 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 it's literally, you know. It, it it it's literally the the one fourth the cost of a motorcycle trailer. Right. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. And it's in the comfort the comfort factor from it is it's like a selling point. I mean, because like perfect example was when we were out in TDS and Greg <laughs> had his dirt bike. Yeah, had he his dirt bike, and he back. was sitting there. Had you know he had to, trying like, to bring it up, it up on the, the bed ramp of the truck and then step on the uh, on the yep. step for it and then you know, wiggle his way yeah. up there and, you know. It's or like, even if I wanted to take a bike out there, like, it's as easy as, like, how you have your setup. Same thing bike on like the back, my brother. I don't tank, even know. Go. I have no idea why I haven't told my brother about this because he has a 250, you know, and mm-hmm. he has a lifted Chevy. So, same concept. Because he has a Chevy that can't mm-hmm. off-road, so why is he going to go? Okay, yeah. That? Well, <laughs> uh, I, I would love to read my brother's truck right now because it's a two-wheel drive lifted Chevy. You got kings on it and all that. He's but got king anyways, suspension. It looks wanna, great, by it, the way. It, it is a really good-looking yeah. truck. But, oh, okay. but every time anyways, we invite next, him to go next, somewhere, he can't I have a hilarious go. story for that. Anyways, we'll, 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 another time. <laughs> he won't be happy if but he yeah, hears I mean, us bash, you know. I mean, I, I see him crawler. struggling. It's a mall crawler. Yeah, I see him struggling all the time. I'm just like, man, like, but... I was going to ask you, is there like a, do you have a hitch adapter for people that have like extent, like lifted trucks? So, you know, yeah. it comes down a foot or something like that. Yeah. Um, we do manufacture hitch adapters specifically for the Ultimate MX hauler. Um, we make everything uh, from a straight out hitch extension all the way to a 10 inch drop. Mm. Oh, wow. So, awesome. Um, you know, I have trucks. My son uses the Ultimate MX hauler on the back of his F-150. And um, he's got an eight inch lift on thirty sevens. Oh wow! Um, wow! So that's yeah. up. So, that's up there. Yeah. yeah, you know, we 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 put an eight inch drop on it. Um, like everything, though, you know, in this industry, I I call it take and give. You know, mm-hmm. you want to lift your truck and use an Ultimate MX hauler with a ten inch drop. <clears throat> right, it pushes everything out seven inches, but it's only seven inches. Mm-hmm. Most uh, industry standards. Uh, our 10 inch on extensions. I mean, that's not even that bad. Cause I mean, so, you got to think about it. Would you rather buy something like that or sitting here trying to, uh, trying to struggle yeah. getting your bike up into yeah. your no, huge truth. truck, you know, cause yeah. even at night or, you or can, have the money to can, buy a trailer uh, rather than throwing mm-hmm. it on a stand or whatever, just load it back up and it's mounted. Right. You right. don't even have to like Greg had to throw his on the, on the, bike stand and he was worried about the wind knocking it over you know what i just thought of too on the back of our trailers what we'll do is we'll just put a a hitch receiver there so Mm -hmm. then that way if you have an overland trailer boom you could put that on and then put your yeah dirt bike on the back of it i i I have several customers that (laughs) actually are currently doing that with their with their overland trailer yeah that actually would work yeah great yeah Yeah. that would work great so we will definitely incorporate that onto the next one Yeah. yeah that uh yeah I didn't think about that. That's. that's I'm gonna point out that I said that. You did. So, stop trying to take his credit, Danny. I'm not always trying to take the spotlight. I just vocalized it. That's you know. I did too, but you guys are like. 
Freaking run around like a chicken with your head cut off. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wow, you're man, really angry you right now. Oh, man. man. Jeez. I, 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 I think I, I planted I, it I, mentally. Are you head. hiring? Aggressive. Are you hiring? I'm sorry. Technical I difficulties. Anymore, man. Technical difficulties. <laughs> Anyway, so sorry so that's that. that's originally where it all started. The Ultimate MX Hauler, and then it kind of you know yeah, actually, um, from there. Ultimate MX Hauler um, has been around for twenty one years. Um, wow, that long. So yeah, oh, uh, okay. May actually of this year will be it's almost as years. old as me. Um, so that's quite a while. Um, you know, it's, it's been a slow process, yeah. but you know, <laughs> we've we added uh, to it. Um, we actually uh, probably about ten years ago we started manufacturing a ramp style hauler. Uh, based off of our same lifting mechanism. So um, still to this day, it's the only ramp hauler that actually lowers all the way to the ground. That's really? Um, yeah, so you wow. don't have to have a ramp. Get your bike up on the ramp. You just roll your bike on and Crank jack up. the whole thing up. Yeah, nice. so Very cool. um, that works real great for um, sport bikes and scooters and Vespas and stuff like that. Hmm. Um, they sell a lot of those to uh, full-time RVers. No. In case you wanted a moped yeah. for your mom car, yeah. basically what he said. <laughs> That's not nice. <laughs> That's not nice. <laughs> a moped. I don't know if it'll clear the pedals, but <laughs> <laughs> does um. anybody make mopeds anymore? <laughs> you know, I actually That's saw a guy cruising around on one in Highland. The other yeah, day. really. He's just cruising. I'm like, dude, you're crazy. You're that is hit. so 80s. Back in the 80s, oh yeah. my, everyone had one I had of those. A, I had a Peugeot when I was in high school. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was like the 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 bike to have back yeah. then. Now it's they've changed it into uh the those little the bikes. Groms. Yep, Honda the Grom. Yep. Yep. But those took off for a little bit and now they're they died out. Yeah, they died out. I don't that think was like a short lived short lived. I want to talk a little bit about Alex's truck cuz it's pretty pretty sweet. It's very it's sweet. It's pretty sweet. And you know it's I remember when you I know, remember when he man, first always in a room bought it. Me, man. No, because this is very important for me to say. Oh, when he first bought it and he brought it by and it's like stock and he had nothing on. And then I don't think it was like it must have been like a, just a handful of weeks after he brings it back and I'm like He's what got the heck? Lift, you know, it was tires, like lifted wheels. and tires and this yeah. and I'm like, dude, someone's been busy, but yeah. it's sick. <laughs> Starting with the color Man, you picked a great color. Yeah. And then suspension. What do you have on there? It's a, it's a full Icon Vehicle Dynamics Stage 9. Nice. Uh, with the uh, billet aluminum upper control arms. Um, the only thing I didn't get was the hydraulic bump stops um, because uh, I knew I was going to end up putting airbags on it anyways. Ah. Uh, so mm. it does have airbags on and it. And right it performs now. phenomenal, I take it. it right. I love it. Yeah, I love it. Probably like yeah. riding on pillows, man. We were talking earlier about the video that you saw of me yeah. jumping, uh, you know, with my uh, rack and everything on it. Um, I've actually jumped my truck like five times. Really? Since I've had that rack on there. That's awesome. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. Trying so, to break it. So no, cool. no. I mean, <laughs> it's, you know, pretty, pretty Capable. controlled, you know, uh, environment and stuff. Mm. And, you know, I don't want to break it, but by the same token... That IVD suspension can handle yep. pretty much everything that I've thrown at it. Mm -hmm. that's awesome. See, that's great. And yeah. we were just talking to our friend Cody from Trail Chasers yesterday. He came by with, he bought a brand new Ranger XLT, mm -hmm. a good looking truck. And he has, is I it think, the, I think he has it's a, a stage, stage five. five? I think he's got icon. the stage five. Yeah. Stage yeah. five, but he said at um, King of the Hammers, he put it to the test. Mm -hmm. And he said he was a passing. Yoda's up like it was nothing through whoops. And everything. Yep, through whoops, everything, and yeah. he was just like, "Man, this thing handled like a dream with the icon suspension." Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was awesome. very impressed, you know. So, yeah. yeah, I was I was out at King of the Hammers also, and um, we were at the Icon uh, Overland Experience Camp, and when we headed over on race day, we headed over to the big rig. Right, um, I was fully loaded. I had. You know, everything, my mountain bike, I had my Ultimate MX hauler, my dirt bike on the back of my truck and everything. And um, we were just heading back over to the big rig, hitting some whoops and stuff. And I had guys, when we got over to the big rig, pull over and they're like, dude, you passed me on that road. Really? Yeah, Fully loaded. <laughs> Fully loaded with your bike and your Ultimate MX hauler. That's, that's thing on the back. They're like, That says a lot. <laughs> you know, that's yeah. crazy. Yeah. I was like. Wow. I always like seeing Alex's truck because it's just 
packed to the gills with everything. I mean, right when we were outside, oh, you snowboard? No, yeah. I don't snowboard. It yeah. looks good. Yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> Got a snowboard sitting yeah. up there. So that's well, what I was going to ask you. How do you want to gear your truck towards? Because everyone has a differently kind of thing for what they want to do. There's a lot of people that like fishing, they like kayaking, going to the beach, going to the mountain. Like, it's right. all different. What are you well, gearing your setup? That's that's where I think my initial design um, was based on universality. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. um, I like to do a lot of different things, but I don't necessarily do all three of those things, you know, um, on the weekend. Um, so I wanted to be able to interchange things, you know, like the snowboard rack, you know. No, I don't snowboard. I've never snow. Well, I take that back. I tried it once years and years ago. Um, it's fun, huh? Didn't really, well, no, really <laughs> like it. <laughs> I, I ended up, it, it I ended you. up, I ended up wet, cold, and sore. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's not so a it hurts your rump, but it hurts your rump. <laughs> but, but, um, you know, a lot of our um, potential customers, a lot of customers, clients, people out there, yep. um, are into that. So I need mean, to, to make sure that um, there was a way to incorporate um, a snowboard rack. A uh, mountain bike rack, a uh, motorcycle rack, mm-hmm. you know, um, water, people. you know, and things yeah. like that, you know, to show people that no matter what they're into, our racks will accommodate, accommodate, you know, yeah. whatever it is, you know, um, that uh, they're doing. Um, you know, you mentioned the kayak. Mm-hmm. Um, I've already figured out how to put a kayak rack on, yep. on, on the top of it. And really? So I um, haven't made it yet, but. Yep. It's on paper. It's figured nice. out. And that's what's cool. That's what's <laughs> cool about your here. rack and what you're doing it and how you're doing it, Alex. And that's what impressed me from the get go is, is right. that you're thinking ahead. You are you are va- basically building a rack and prepping ahead and dialing it in from from the ground up so that you've already taken care of the problems before the problem even begins. You know, I have a kayak. Oh, no problem. Here you go. You know, mm-hmm. easy. So you're not gonna make me as a customer go in circles, try to find this, adapt that, you know, yep. some people aren't, you know, savvy in that manner. They just want, you know, to be able to throw the rack on, throw their stuff on and go. Yeah. A lot of people are savvy, but some of us aren't. So with that being said, I love that about how you're doing the rack because yeah. you're taking care of it beforehand. Yeah. That's good too, well, because a lot of people are like closed minded when it comes to that kind of stuff, you know, like thinking ahead and like trying to solve problems ahead of the curve. You know, a lot of people don't really, it's like uh, your perspective. Like you're you're thinking about everybody else's perspective and not yours. Exactly. You know, instead right. of just his opinion or my opinion, you know. So right. that, that's important. Well, like I said, originally I set out to build a rack for my truck. Mm-hmm. And um, about three, four days into the process, I was like, why shouldn't this rack work for anybody's truck? Sure. You know, all the features and benefits that I was looking for in a rack – I'm sure there's other people out there, <laughs> you know, for the same looking thing. for the same thing, yeah. you know. Um, so even three months after the rack was built, um, I wanted to put a, a, a Yakima bicycle rack on it and carry a, a, a mountain bike up on top, out of the way, you know, not taking up any of my bed space or anything like That's that. That's awesome. Um, and, uh, you know, again, sat down with my engineer, told him what I wanted, Four hours later, nice. I had a bracket bolted nice. to my rack. <laughs> Ultimate so, overlanding. So, so then I had to go buy a. So then I had to go buy a mountain bike. <laughs> <laughs> that was your excuse to buy the mountain. Yeah, right. there you go. pretty much, pretty much. There you That's go. great. So yeah, man. but but I do mountain bike. Yeah. So yeah. I, I just I just love that. Um, usually when you do overlanding and stuff, it's fun. I mean, I, I'm that's my passion, so it's fun, but it makes it that much better when you're able to take your toys with you. And yeah. that's mm-hmm. what's great about what you're doing. So yeah. we're excited. We're excited. So we're hoping to be able to, and we'll do a walk around and a video and stuff. I know you're going to be talking to Christian about, you know, mm-hmm. putting one on his vehicle. We're going to, uh, we're super excited to buy one from you because I want to see what we can do with the Ford, you know, with that rack yep. on there. So yeah, especially because I, I think it's going to look it's only Raptors yeah. that typically have that stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so it'll look great. Um, and, and, uh, anyways, um, so can you, um, tell us where people can find the bed rack? How 
they can get a hold of you, you know, contact information, things like that? Um, ultimatebedracks.com uh, is our website. Uh, we do have a uh, Facebook, uh, Ultimate Bed Racks. Uh, you can just search us there. Um, no Instagram yet, uh, but we're working on that. Cool. Um, and uh, uh, the website's full e-commerce. Uh, you can nice. literally just go right on there and order your bed rack, the height, the size, um, which, by the way, I don't think we touched on it. We have three different heights um, uh-huh. on the bed racks. Uh, so you can get 7-inch, 14-inch, and 19-inch posts. Um, and then uh, we also uh, make three different lengths for five foot beds, six foot bed, and seven foot beds. Nice. Um, so, so, what great. would you recommend people do to um, m- take measurements on their vehicles? What's the best way to take measurements on their vehicles to get the best fitments? I, I, I think it really just depends on your personal preference. Okay. Um, you know, uh, some guys like uh, the low profile, mm. uh, keeping the rooftop tent below the cab. Mm-hmm. Uh, for aerodynamics um, there's also uh, a lot of uh, potential customers out there that don't run uh, uh, rooftop tents and want to run their 35 or 37 inch spare uh, on the top of their bed rack um, so um, we, we've we've built in provisions for that mm-hmm. and um, sorry I got something in my eye did you yeah, <laughs> I saw that I saw that I'm like yeah. what the heck um, it's okay but, you're not uh, leaving us yet Oh, no. Don't cry. <laughs> we love you. And, uh, we're still going to be friends after this. Jeez. Something in my eye. I got something in my eye. You another tinkle? But, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah. It. That's, <laughs> that's what it is. Oh, oh. gosh. Oh, it's like a, oh, it's like a burning or something. So, <laughs> I don't know. I need new glasses. Um, But, yeah, it's, uh, you know, as far as, as far as, the personal preferences and stuff like that. Like, you know, on my truck, I didn't want to go full 19 inches because I didn't want my, my uh, rooftop tent that high up above the cab. Mm -hmm. But then again, I don't have an annex uh, for my, my, my customers, uh, the Colorado that I did, he has an annex for his rooftop tent. So Mm -hmm. he he wanted to be up as high off the ground as possible, you know? So, you know, he's giving up some fuel mileage, Yeah, (laughs) but you know, it's just really personal. It preference. works for him. So, yeah. yeah. Awesome. So uh, we are going to do a walk around of your vehicle shortly of your okay. truck. And we're going to show everyone, you know, all the cool stuff you have on there. But also we're going to be able to show them the details of the bed rack and, you know, the adapting Possibility. possibilities mm-hmm. of it. So mm-hmm. uh, stay tuned. Do not leave us. Uh, we are wrapping up here in the podcast room, but we will walk out. And we will do a walk around. So for those of you who want to see and or purchase, please visit ultimate bed, ultimate bed racks.com. Correct. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, cool. uh, and make sure to reach out to them or even through us. We can always put you in touch with Alex. Like I said, we're good friends. We stay in touch all the time and we'd be able to like send you to him and, you know, get you in touch with him if, if need be. So yeah. with that being said, Thanks again, Alex, for coming out. Thanks really, for having me. Really appreciate Absolutely. it, brother. So, Thanks for having uh, me. Yeah. Everyone who was listening in, uh, check us out on all major podcast channels and also Off-Road World on Spotify and iTunes. You can also check us out, Syndicate Off-Road on Instagram, Facebook, or Overland Trailers USA. Ooh, we didn't Facebook. forget it. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Dude, we're on it today. Yeah, episode right? 7. I know you got the episode uh, right. Man, Dang. I got the episode right. The episode right. All right. <laughs> we even made Alex cry. Oh, like, that's how good this know, podcast was today. Like, Alex was like, oh, my God, this is the best thing I've ever done. <laughs> These guys are amazing. It's I'm in love with Syndicate. Syndicate off-road. So, you know? I'm awesome. like.